Let me get closer. We have a lot to talk about. Now we're going to discuss the mistakes as a woman that you make with your man. If you want to be a buddy, if you want to show that you know what you're doing, you want to show that you know what he likes, there are some mistakes you should have made. There are a lot of mistakes as a woman that you make with your man. These things are very little and tiny mistakes, tiny things you do, you ignore, but they actually matter. Men are actually more concerned on pleasing the lady. So they try their possible best to be the best, to satisfy you, than women are. So women feel like all they need to do is just to relax and lay like a log of wood or lie down there and the man is doing all the work to please them. You don't try to learn things, you don't try to do things better to please the man to be the body that you are supposed to be because you feel it all falls on the shoulder of the man. There are a lot of things you should be doing differently. Some of them you already are doing it, but some of them they are so tiny to you that you feel it doesn't really matter and I'm going to share with you today. One huge red flag or one big thing that you do wrong is when it comes to doggy, the way you stay. Now there are a lot of different variations. Because they call it doggy doesn't mean you have to stay like a dog. If you're getting tired staying that way, you can come up a bit. It mustn't be exactly, typically this is what has always been portrayed in videos or on, on blogs and then you must follow exactly this way. It may not be comfortable for you. So that is why there are different variations of doggy and you can choose the one that is best for you. Funny thing is that doggy is a lot of men's favorite. Women prefer more of missionary because they get to see the man face to face. They want to see the man's expression. They also want to do eye contact for the people that love to do eye contact. And women feel more connected to men when they are doing missionary. When you stay in for doggy and you sit like a dog and then you just want to mimic the dog verbatim the way dog stays what this does is the fact that you're trying to take away your hole your juicy pot you're trying to hide it from his stick it is more in front than is at the back you arching your back is pushing it out the more and portraying it to be in front so that his stick can go in and can go in completely they really prefer doggy because they can go in deep they can fix everything you know when you're doing missionary your leg can be blocking the view for the stick to get in especially when your cheek or you have tick ties or you're not so flexible some part of your flesh or your ties block his own tie too from getting in when you're in a doggy style your tie is out of the way all you need to do is to shoot your back out and portray that in front to go in deeper. And also the action of the back, what it helps do is the fact that it helps to shoot your backside a nice view. And when they are hitting, they are making a particular sound that he enjoys. And the movement also, especially when it's soft, the movement also gives a viewing pleasure so when you at your back you make all these things look more and more appealing when it comes to doggy you arching your back and or you not arching your back is a mistake that you make so what we are getting out of this now is for you not to arch your back wrongly you can arch as much as you can get comfortable because once it start getting uncomfortable for any of you then it is no longer pleasure you're getting pressure. So arching of the back is what we are discussing in this part because some people don't even arch at all and some people arch wrongly. And when you're trying to give 100% of the view, make sure that you are comfortable in the state that you're in. If you're in a state or in a place that you can't breathe well or you're getting uncomfortable, you can always try to adjust yourself or talk. This should be my top one is not communicating properly and not that you don't communicate you do communicate but do you communicate properly to your man another thing we don't know about men is that they are very 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 active they are very smart and they know how to read expressions what i mean by communication doesn't mean that you must be talking there's no man or anywhere that say yes this is a pure way of being a buddy although it is a plus the way you communicate wrongly is the fact that you're feeling 
pressure or you're feeling pain and you keep mute you don't talk you don't need to talk that you're feeling pain there's a way you move your body there's a way you react men are visual beings they are noticing every move that you make they are even reading your facial expression they read when you are tired they read when you are enjoying it they read when you want them to do another thing they read when you want them to continue going in the rhythm and in the pace of that they are going so even when you don't know that you communicate you actually do communicate so when you're feeling pressure when you're feeling pain you have to communicate in a way that he will understand some people just because they want to just really really please that man they don't want the man to feel like uh, they are feeling uncomfortable or or not they will just keep managing it and at the end of the day you can't hide your feelings at the end of the day you're still going to show off the fact that you're not comfortable or that you're not enjoying it and you start feeling some type of way so he will appreciate it more if you can actually communicate you don't have to tell please stop which you can be vocal and say that but if you want to do it in a romantic way if you don't want to come off as being rude or sarcastic you can actually do that with the expression if you're and his nose is blocking your nose and you can't breathe well there's a way to gradually stop what you're doing you can just take out your mouth and change the style or the way that you're putting it or just stop and then put your mouth on his neck and start kissing in that way he will understand it that you want to take a break from kissing so they know how to read your facial expression so there's a cool way to do it and you'll still be a buddy communication can be your moaning when you groan when you cry when you make sounds there's a way you make it to come off sensual when you moan there's a subtle soft way you do that so this is part of communication when you moan you're actually communicating to them that you're enjoying it there is a groan or cry that you make they will ask you are you all right when you're enjoying it you kind of make a sensual soft sexy moans that come off this way um, that way you're trying to tell them that i'm enjoying it it's getting into me i can feel what you're doing just keep going i'm having a blast that's why you just communicated so you don't just moan for moaning's sake moaning has a lot of meanings behind it and then when you're feeling pain or you moan this way ah they might stop they might get confused they don't know if they did something that really got you and you weren't expecting it like surprised you or you just felt a sudden sharp pain or started feeling sort of uncomfortable so there's a lot of meaning into this kind of sound so now you're trying to confuse them maybe this is the way you moon and they'll start getting confused some of them might be kind enough to ask you are you okay then you may be like yes i'm okay so then they may know that okay yeah this is just how you make your sound and you're enjoying it so they will keep going so if you want to be a buddy Make sure that you communicate correctly. You can spend 30 minutes having an intimate moment with your partner without even saying a word. But the whole time you guys have been communicating, not just using your mouth to make a sound, your expressions, your facial expressions as well. You may keep a face that is like this when you're doing the do. And they will get confused. Are you getting angry? Are you annoyed? Did I do something wrong? And another way to make a very good communication is to say things that are sweet to their ears. So once in a while you talk, most of them want you to talk. That's why sometimes they want to just ask you questions. Who is your daddy? A lot of things come out from their mouth. They want you to talk. They want you to communicate. You can also communicate to them how much you love them, how much you love them being inside you. So this is more like ways to communicate correctly. Another mistake you make is smelling bad, smelling awful. Even if you've not had your bath throughout the day, but you went to work just like that and you came back and you sweat a lot at, uh, at work and maybe you handled a lot of pastries or the kind of work you did made you to be in a place that doesn't have a good smell. And when you come back, maybe your partner wants to just grab you and <laughs> you know that you're not fresh, you're not smelling nice. It doesn't kill to tell them, babe, let me freshen up. You can just pop into the shower, freshen up. You mustn't smell like pineapple, strawberry, as far as you have your, your body scent. If it doesn't smell awful, you don't have body odor. And then that's it, because you're supposed to be smelling like skin. 
when you smell awful it is a huge turn off some of them will start avoiding you because of that make sure you smell better make sure your kitty down there is odor free there's nothing wrong with whether you shave or you don't shave let me tell you one of the reasons why a lot of men don't eat or lick your plate what comes out of us is a law discharge comes out of there and the discharge has different ph levels different category of discharge our body is more open and we get infection more than them we also we release water urine comes out of there as well theirs just look like you're licking this hand that is covered in flesh but ours looks like you use knife to cut off this flesh and then you're seeing the red skin inside if you want your own to be more palatable you have to present yourself clean and neat and if you want to add extra dose of spice make sure that that place is moisturized like i say you can use baby shea butter that wouldn't cause harm but i'm not saying you should put it inside the flesh the red part that you're seeing just the lips moisturize the area you don't have to wait for a man to tell you how you smell before you know how you smell you have to be taking care of yourself you have to be looking at yourself daily in case there's any changes so if you want to be a buddy take care of yourself this is one of the reasons why a lot of men go out and meet other girls out there and you see all those slay queens they miss out try to pin them down even a married man would be hooked or hanged down by a slay queen because those ones it is their business their business is to catch a man that will spend money on them so them knowing that for a man to spend their lot of money on you whatever you are getting is money and he is getting your body so their body is business for them and they take care of it and they treat it like business and apart from there and your body your armpit as well your mouth too another thing is rough skin this is very very simple to understand sometimes they want to touch you your body feels dry rough and bumpy it is easy to achieve a smooth glowing skin use scrub scrub like three to twice weekly use very good scented soap if your body can tolerate use a, a cream or body lotion that is scented that has fragrance in it use body butter or body oil that smells really nice when you know you're meeting your man it is good to moisturize your skin all these things will make him to also want to enjoy you let me show you something that is a dry skin right there so i intentionally moisturized this hand while i was recording this video and i didn't moisturize this one because i wanted to show you something out of it don't mind the dark spots you're seeing these are the struggles that i had to go through when i was younger this is sheer butter can you see that glow so i'm just using shea butter to show you how cheap it is to keep your body moisturized this is one of the mistakes you make as well so try to keep your body skin moisturized don't go with dry flaked skin ladies <gasps> please and another one is your lips you work a lot with your lips he doesn't want to kiss a chapped lips vaseline there are a lot of mistakes but we can't finish saying them see you next time but before that make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed leave a comment down there below in the comment section so i want to hear the mistakes you think you make as a woman or i would actually prefer guys to to leave a comment telling me the mistakes women make with them because they are the ones that notice these mistakes but they don't actually tell you sometimes so feel free to leave the mistake your woman is making in the comment section see you next time bye